high school with a hatchet. But why did you go there? Because it seemed like a good idea at the time. What was your idea? I don't know. I was making it up as I went. You just heard from a man that police say was inside Salem High School this morning with a hatchet. And thankfully, police took him into custody before anything happened. News Channel 3's Marissa Jasek spoke with that man, 25-year-old Kirk Cowart, from jail tonight. So, Marissa, what did you learn tonight? Well, honestly, this was the most bizarre interview I have ever done. I pressed him to get answers about what he was trying to do when he came to the school with an axe. Just listen to what he had to say. So what were you doing at the school? to do something for all the children that have ever been sold into sex slavery and get out on a stage with a mother axe and a toothpick of a knife my katana and just lay everything down beach police say 25 year old kirk cowart went to salem high school early thursday morning sneaked in carrying a hatchet and sat on the auditorium stage. Investigators believe around 5.45, he got into the building during a cafeteria delivery. News Channel 3 sat down with Cowart, a former student of Salem, to find out what was going through his mind. Why did you have a hatchet? Because that's what it, that, when I walked out, there's a dirty little secret. And it's a dirty little name, and it's a dirty little trick. That goes round here. That I myself come to you in bondage. Because what did you think the Commonwealth of Virginia's main stock and trade was? Tobacco? That comes from North Kakalaki. But from Virginia, we breed virgins to be bought and sold. Over and over again, News Channel 3 tried to get answers, but Cowart repeatedly diverted. Kirk, you're not making sense. No, nope, because I'm not making dollars and cents. What do you mean? What, what do you think I mean? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. You're not making any sense. Well, I'm sorry. Throughout the interview, he rambled on about weapons, old girlfriends, and the 14 months he says he spent at Camp Lejeune in the Marine Corps. Did you go there with any intention to hurt people with the hatchet? I actually left my house because when I left, I was waiting and I was talking to the Lord. And I heard a battle, a gun battle, and I heard screams and people dying, but I didn't hear the sickening sounds because I knew there were the bad ones who died. And I spoke with Coward's father over the phone tonight who says his son is living in his own imaginary world and has suffered from mental issues for a while. But the, the big question tonight is how did this happen? How did this man who you just heard rambling on, how was he able to get into a beach school with an axe? We still have not gotten those answers from beach schools, but News Channel 3 is staying on top of this story. In the control room, Marissa Jasek, News Channel 3. Thank you so much, Marissa. Yes, yeah, still a lot of unanswered questions here, and we're going to get those for you about campus security and about the uh, mental stability of this individual. And there is much more of Marissa's interview posted on WTKR.com.